Good morning, guys. Silver 5150 here with a brief morning update. Uh, it is Monday, March 23rd. And we see that stocks are down again even after the Fed came out last night or early this morning and said they're going to start buying corporate and municipal bonds to the tune of about $2 trillion, if I'm not mistaken. And anything else that's not nailed down to keep us from going into a depression. I appreciate the efforts, but it's going to put a lot of strain on the dollar. We talked about that yesterday. <clears throat> right here you're looking at 2017 one half ounce versus one half clay chi wu chi wangs out of south korea one half ounce they didn't make very many of these i think the minage on these was probably ten thousand, and um, because they're half ounce and they're not really easy to get they carry a very high premium i think these run about 30 bucks a piece if you can find them right here you're looking at um a little idea i had where i take a one ounce um bar capsule and I've put in some individual Valcambi grams to carry around in like your fifth pocket of your jeans and stuff. Should we ever get to this, you know, um, <laughs> speculative hyperinflation I always talk about to where you can walk around with a little bit of silver and, and buy a lot of stuff. It could happen. It could not happen. I think it's kind of heading in that direction. And if you look at the commodities markets today, oil's down, everything's down. But guess what commodities are up? Guess what precious metals are up? Guess what monetary metals are in the green today as opposed to everything else? And I mean everything else, commodity-wise. That is gold and silver. Gold's up about 4%. Silver's up about 35 I'm sorry, gold's about 3.5%. Silver's up about 4%. And we'll see if they can hold on to these gains today while everything else starts to head downward. Now, we talked about yesterday how the powers that be, they don't want there to be a visible exit out of this party here. Everybody's losing, um, and they want to make sure that the only way out for them is going to be the government largesse in the form of helicopter money or check payouts to the citizens or basic income for the people to be the only way um, people can uh, have a little bit of financial freedom, you know, if they lose their jobs and stuff. But um, I still say to this day, gold and silver is going to offer that to people if you're able to get some please try to get some i had uh, a couple of people yesterday i talked to um they don't seem very positive on you know what precious metals are going to be able to do to insure themselves you know i try to paint scenarios and pictures of what could be you know it's all speculative i have no idea what the future holds but i choose to be positive about it some people well they don't like that um but you know everybody's entitled to their opinion so anyway, let's just keep an eye on the markets today. Let's see, you know, um, where things are going to go. Um, if the market's going to tank really bad, then the Fed and the U.S. Congress are going to have to act really fast to try to uh, get their uh, get their stuff in order. They're talking about passing these bills. They're talking about, you know, buying these assets. Well, if you're going to do it, do it. Because if you don't, we're going to start to plunge into areas that people are going to get extremely uncomfortable in, um, in the equity markets. And we've already got enough to deal with with the virus and whatnot. So... Um, if you're going to, you know, create Christmas, do it now. Um, just do it now, and we'll uh, deal with the consequences later. Just a quick reference. Those are half-ounce coins. This is a full-ounce Superman. Go ahead and put that right there up against the Chi Woos just to show you the size difference and stuff. And so, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, not very many of these. I think I probably got four or five of these, and I uh, got the rest of them in the vault. And I keep all my fractionals around um, because here at home, I think, is where they're going to matter the most. I don't need to keep those in the vault. I keep the bigger stuff at the vault out there in the middle of the desert. Um, and so today, I will have more fractional stuff for you, some fractional uh, tents that I think you're going to really dig. And uh, we'll go through those this afternoon and talk about what happened in the markets today. All right, folks, thanks for always listening. Thank you for like, sharing, and subscribing. And I appreciate your comments. Uh, we might not agree on everything, but I do. Um, I am okay with a little bit of debate. A little bit. All right? So we're good. All right. Take care. Have a great day. Cellular immunity, chaga, vitamin D3, vitamin C, lipovitamin C, and any other kind of supplement you want to use, uh, multivitamins and stuff, to add to it to keep yourselves healthy and armored against the coronavirus. And survive and thrive. And uh, let's get through this together. We'll talk to you later.